What's up, YouTube? And welcome back, family, to day number 15 of 21 Days Raw Foods Detox. Raw Foods Fast. Let's get it. <laughs> Y'all know I just totally bombed that intro. Just had a big brain fart, but it's all good because I got some new updates for you. I feel like every day has been pretty similar. If not, excuse me, I had some tissue on my cheek. But every day has been pretty similar, if not for maybe just some subtle changes. So we actually have some interesting updates, some changes. Uh, recently, I want to say yesterday maybe or the day before i didn't really acknowledge it in the videos i didn't think anything of it i was starting to develop a little bit of a stuffy nose just just out the random i didn't know what caused it what it was due to so uh i want to say maybe last night it kind of progressed and i was like dang am i getting a cold or something woke up was fine everything's been cool as far as you know nose and nasal passages prior to that but I just wanted to at least note that in this video because the next symptom I was having is um, I've been having normal bowel movements. Everything's been good to go. Um, cleaning my system out. Everything seems fine. And then randomly I was passing gas, which I really haven't done that often. Maybe because I haven't had anything carbonated and just raw fruits. And the gas smelled deadly. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Something crawled up in me when I was sleeping. So... How I charge it to the game is this. I guess I'm not done cleansing. There's probably still some more stuff up in me. Uh, I've been keeping a track of the fruits that I eat every day. So I started getting these symptoms when I started eating a lot more watermelon a lot more frequently. I eat the watermelon and seeds, and I know the seeds have a lot of fiber. So I'm just guessing there was some stuff backed up in me that is pulling out because... um yeah my gas hasn't really stunk at all on this detox and then i started to uh get that white film on my tongue again so we still expunging toxins it's interesting because in this fast you would think things are linear but they're really not they're kind of like the stock market sometimes they're up sometimes they're a little down and they go up 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 but you're still cleansing your system so just wanted to give you all that update that um when you do embark on this journey or if you're embarking on this journey you're kind of confused about what's happening to you the detox process is not linear some days it's just gonna be like oh okay i guess i'm done detoxing the other days you have this huge bowel movement you're gonna be like oh that easy bro you know what i'm saying so wanted to get y'all that quick update other than that things have been going really well i took uh I took a me day, I guess you could say. I've just been resting, relaxing in the house. Um, I may do just tomorrow, just a 24-7 fast. Just drink all water and a little bit of tea or something like that. I really am liking the effects of not being super full all the time. That's something that is a, is a drastic difference for me versus when I was eating regular cooked foods or even eating unhealthy or processed foods you get that lethargic feeling and you go to sleep so on and so forth I have a lot more energy to do things my mood my emotion feels good so i really like that feeling of energy and i don't necessarily have that when i'm always eating foods that are uh, making me super full or calorically dense I'm eating a lot of uh, water juicy fruits flushing me out even when you do get full in the fruits you can still go out and about and do things without feeling super full or lethargic so i really like that feeling and once you can get past the hunger fasting really doesn't bother you either it's a mindset thing it's a consistency thing it's a discipline thing you know but anyways those are my updates for today again i appreciate y'all for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll be tapping in with y'all tomorrow peace and love